this production of Cozy is going wonderfully. Uh, it's uh, folks from the audience have been telling me it's the best production of Cozy they've ever seen. It's the most entertaining, and we have infused it with a great deal of life and a great deal of truth. Uh, and I think that's why it's been such a, a success. The cast is excellent, um, and they are just they're getting along so well. It's like a real uh, a real team. Uh, and that's helped because it's an ensemble piece. They all interact and they all depend on each other musically and dramatically. So uh, I think it's one of our better efforts, actually. We uh, contemporize to an extent the time period to the 1920s, uh, but keeping in mind that in Mozart's time, uh, Così Fan Tutte was about contemporary characters. Um, so it was a contemporary subject for him, so it makes sense to move it forward and make it a contemporary subject, contemporary setting for modern audiences. So we needed to find a time period where those social mores uh, were still sacrosanct, and yet it was fairly contemporary. So we hit on the 1920s, which seemed like a really good fit, and in fact, it, it, it has turned out to be a great fit for this, um, for this piece. Uh, the conductor has uh, all the parts, all the orchestra's parts, all of the singer's parts, uh, and you really have to know uh, everything. You have to memorize everyone's part. You have to uh, have translated the the, uh, the libretto, the script, completely, so you know every word. You understand the drama. You understand how the drama plays into the creation of the music. Uh, and then there's the study, the analysis of the music itself, uh, understanding as best you can how Mozart created the work, what his intentions were. Um, and then there's the practical side of how do you then convey to the singers and the orchestra and the rest of the company um, what this music is supposed to sound like. The, the person who, by studying what he's written, uh, interprets what's there and tries to recreate it and to help everyone else recreate it in a manner that is true to what I think uh, Mozart's into, uh, inclinations and his desires were. That's tough. I mean, part of it's detective work, part, part of it's scholarly work, part of it's historical work, uh, and understanding what Mozart was going through at that time of, in his life, what motivated him to write the piece in the first place, what he thought about the piece, what he thought about the libretto, um, you know, everything. You've got to, the more you dig into the psyche of the composer, uh, the more true you can be to the piece. Uh, and so that's why, you know, Again, depending on, on how complex the piece is and who the composer is, uh, it takes a fair amount of time to get ready um, to actually lead a performance.